But first, let's get to breaking news tonight. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating an officer involved shooting. It happened near Line Street this afternoon. Our Kaylee Tracy is joining us live right now. Kaylee, I know we just got an update about 10 minutes ago. Tell us the latest. Yeah, Anthony and Jeannie, you can see here actually right now the JSO command center truck is leaving here right now, but we do want to give you an update. The chief of investigations, TK Walters, just talked to us about this incident tonight. Chief Walters says a suspect was involved in two separate robberies in the area about 10 minutes apart. He says one was at a hotel in the area, the other at a check cashing facility, again, about 10 minutes apart. They put out a call for the suspect vehicle and about 20 minutes later, they an officer did stop that car. Passenger got out upon the officer's verbal cues to ask everyone in the car to get out. Passenger got out with his hands up and the driver shot at the officer several times, we're told by Chief Waters. The officer's car was hit five to six times. The officer was not hit. That officer fired back. The driver was not hit or injured. We're told the passenger is in the hospital in surgery in critical but stable condition. It is not clear if that passenger was hit by bullets. The officer has minor injuries, again, not hit by any of the suspect's gunfire. We're told those minor injuries are scrapes from the incident. As far as charges for that suspect, charges are pending right now. A gun was recovered at the scene here. This scene still very active, taped off. We have seen, as you saw, that command center truck just leaving. And you can see in the distance there, you see the red evidence cone, or excuse me, the green evidence cones set up behind the red tape there. And um, we're told that is obviously related to that incident. The officer involved shooting here earlier. And like I was saying, the scene has cleared a little bit here, but still very active out here. Um, so the state attorney's office is also investigating tonight. That is per JSO's protocol, but we'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online. For now, reporting live on the West Side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.